So today, this video is a little bit different than what I normally do. I wanted to do a little more suspension testing, and I wanted to check these lowered forks, two things that I thought I could do I, uh, in one at the same time, actually. So what I did, I decided to make a dedicated video of Lake Denmark Road, and this is, we're going to take the full run up to Lake Denmark Road, and I want to explain some of the pitfalls, some of the little places that uh, I've seen bears some of the places I've seen deer, <laughs> among other things. And there's, there's a couple of turns on this that are off camber and very tricky. And, but it's a great place to ride. And in this case, I want to test these lower forks. This will really let me put it to the test. Now today, a really special day here on the farm. Karen has been waiting for this day for, <laughs> for a while anyway. We've been saving up the biggest and the best of the zucchinis from her garden to make zucchini bread so i'm going to get out of here as early as i can get back even earlier than i normally would and we are going to make zucchini bread today but first i want to get a ride now here on the farm we're always looking to stay healthy eat right out of our garden and so far we actually have been doing pretty good at that but it requires an early bird ride i i've gotten kind of used to the idea of getting a ride in and then coming home and doing something relating to the farm. So, but I couldn't be happy the way it's working out and Karen and I do enjoy every day. We harvest and we're doing things around here. And, act, and the other day, Miles was over here and we had him pick tomatoes. He was happy as could be. He, maybe we're gonna turn him into a little farmer, teach him how to drive a tractor. What I really wish is that my grandson Miles would come over once in a while and Help me clean up the bikes and wax them and polish the exhausts and things like that. And in the past he has, but the problem is he spent most of the time waxing the tires. And uh, <laughs> but oh, God bless him, he's turning out to be a great kid. He's 10 years old now, and every once in a while he'll just <laughs> appear here like magic. And then I can always count on him for some help at doing something, picking zucchinis or something. Anyway, this was polished on a previous video on our channel. Okay, guys, no fighting and no splashing on the program here. And I know Ray and Marilyn will know what this tree is. This is Artie Thomas's tree. Oh, boy, does it in full bloom now and about nine feet tall. And as soon as we get back, we're going to turn some of these zucchinis. <laughs> the zucchinis are like six feet high already. When Luciano was here, he couldn't believe how big those zucchini plants were. We are going to make zucchini bread today. Now one last cup of coffee and time to go. Time to hit the open road. I'm ready. Should be a great day. So before I go out riding, this is this is today's harvest. Look at this. But look at this. Another zucchini zilla. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good harvest, Karen. Now tonight you want to do that bread? We're gonna do zucchini Blueberry bread. Blueberry zucchini bread. Blueberry zucchini bread is what we're gonna to do tonight. I'm going riding. Blueberry zucchini bread. Karen said she's also going to make rat tattooey while I'm out riding, so it's going to be a pretty busy day. Final weather check says the sun will be out by noontime, but it's a little, little in and out with the sun. And definitely chilly this morning. Oh, the sound of the cross plane triple. Oh, I love it. Now, today's video is going to be just a little bit different than what I normally shoot and for I'll explain the reasons why we're at Lake Denmark Road it's off Green Pond Road if we were to go in this direction we'd wind up at Route 23 if we go in this direction we'd wind up at Route 80 so far I've brought many of my friends up here we've gone on group rides here and everybody that hasn't been here yet this is a really well-kept secret it's easy to get to, it's about 30 miles from my house. Now it's very low traffic, and the first thing I always do when I come up here, I take a quick ride down the road, 
Takes about 15 minutes to get to the end, and at the end of it will be the Picatinny Arsenal. Just to make sure the road is clear. Now, that is a great road for doing anything suspension testing, tire testing. Today's little test is going to be, I want to get some more miles on my lowered forks. And the only way I'm going to know if I like it, I've got to find a really twisty part of this road and go back and forth and then make an evaluation if it's going to be for me or not for me. So first thing I want to do is take a nice casual ride from one end of the road to the other. Make sure it's clear. So first thing, as you enter Lake Denmark Road, stay to the left. Don't stay to the right. That's a really, really sharp turn. And after a rainstorm, it's always full of grass. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to show this, this, I think this is one of the nicest back roads. It's really not that far from my house. Like I said, it's about 30 miles. If you go to back way, maybe 32 miles, but it's basically a 30 mile ride to get there. Even if you take Route 80 and get off at the Green Pond Road. But now I'm doing this in real time because I wanted to show this. This is what I always do when I get there because this is such a nice ride. I always like to make what I call a clearing ride. Now, I've been on this road in the past and seen, as I was shooting pictures of the bike, seen bears more than once. I've seen deer. I've also seen where a tree fell into the middle of the road and I came around the corner maybe a little faster than I should have and I really had to get on the brakes. So what I always think, it, from one end of the road to the other takes maybe 10 minutes. And we're going to wind up at the Picatinny Arsenal. It's worth doing what I call a clearing run. You, you get an idea just by looking at this in real time. There's almost no straightaways. It's a lot of up and down, a lot of turns. Now, because I have those lowered forks, the bike turns into a corner a little bit faster than it does when the forks are at full extension. Now, I still haven't tested going halfway. I have the suspension settings, in this case, on soft. Because this road tends to be bumpy. There's a few bumps toward the end. And in, you'll see there's a couple of spots I wanted to point out. Now, here's where we come up upon actually what is the lake. Or one of the lakes in this area. Is This is one of the spots that I always stop and take pictures. And where there's a lot of wildlife. so And geese and whatever here. But there's a turn coming up. And if you don't know this turn. How, how all the turns going up into this area here relatively straightforward turns nothing unusual but there's one here that and we're coming up on it right now where if you make this run the first time you do it on a sport bike or if you're going a little bit over what you think your skill of it is when you see that building slow down more than you think you have to this is a big off camber turn and you see those dumpsters off to the right i've seen people picking up a bike that they wound up going in by those dumpsters it's, it's really embarrassing. It's a really off-camber turn, and it comes out of nowhere. And if you're not expecting it, eh, not a great idea. Now, when you do this in reverse, when you turn around by Picatinny and you come back in reverse, that turn is even worse because it sneaks up on you. You don't have that building as a warning like a braking marker. Anyway, here we are. We're at the end of our clearing run. We're coming up. This is where the Picatinny Arsenal is. So once you get to the end of the road, here's what happens. And there's a sign, of course, we're right at the Picatinny Arsenal. If we keep going that way, it just, uh, the road doesn't get a whole lot nicer. It's still okay, but it's not really great. But what I usually do at this location, right here I'll turn around, we're at the sign for the Picatinny Arsenal. And that's Snake Hill Road. I'll get into Snake Hill Road later, that comes up here. But there's almost no traffic on this road. And this is where the good part of the road is if you're testing something. In the case today, I'm testing the suspension settings and those, the forks being lowered. So now that I know the road is clear, there are no trees down, no dead animals or nothing fake going on. Now I could do my testing. Now I could get a little faster, a little more aggressive and start to enjoy the MT-09. So let me just mention about Snake Hill Road now. Snake Hill Road, if you go down that road from where we are right now, this is the good part of Lake Denmark Road. If we go down there, part of it is paved, and there's part that's real bumpy, there's part that's really almost a dirt bike road, and then it's paved again up at the other end by the lake. So I try to avoid Snake Hill Road, but we're up by the, right by the sign for the Picatinny Arsenal. 
is a good place to just turn around and go get another, I don't know how many miles it is, maybe I ought to just do a mileage check, and take this all the way back to where the factory is. Because past the factory there's houses. So basically now we know the road is clear. There's that one really sharp bend that's off camber. If you're not a really highly experienced rider, and I'll try to point that out, that's a place you can get in trouble. So this is on the way back, and this is that tricky off-camber turn right by the building. There's a little park there, some kind of rest area with, with an outhouse, by the way, if you need one ever. And, and this turn can... one of the roads that's about again 30 miles from my house so depending on how close you are to my house it's worth looking on a map easy to find and we're back at the other end of green pond road i can make two or three more runs up and down there before i head home but we got to get back to that zucchini bread i know karen will be mad if i get back late so i checked in with karen she said there's no rush I can take the back roads home. It'll be a lot more fun that way. And if you've, if you've never gone up to uh, Lake Denmark Road, it's a good one. It's a lot of fun, very low traffic. Now as I'm getting more and more miles on these lowered forks, I'm kind of liking them on these back roads. It doesn't seem to hurt the high speed handling at all, so maybe it's gonna ultimately be a win-win, but we still wanna get more time on it. And again, thank you, Bob, for that tip. It seems to be working well on the MT-09. show this if you do take snake hill road it looks like it would be a nice place to go and it's nice twisty and they repaved some of it but they haven't repaved at all and as you see over here it rapidly becomes a really bumpy crappy road so this is about where i turn around and we head back <laughs> So we are back from a great ride. I really enjoy that area around Lake Denmark, Picatinny Arsenal. You can also get there from Route 15, but the back roads are just a whole lot nicer. Anyway, Karen has things planned, and somewhere, somewhere in that kitchen, I know she's cooking something. So I'm gonna go check out what's going on there and put the bike away. 
So while I was out riding, it looks like, in fact, I didn't even get my jacket off yet. The ratatouille's cooking, but wow. I'm telling you, we're running a restaurant here. You going to make that zucchini bread later, or what are we going to do here? I'll see. I'll think about it. Ah, uh, the smell of food in the kitchen. And if, if anybody out there has never had zucchini bread, it is really, really good. And we got free zucchinis. So I get back from the ride, and Karen is going to make zucchini bread using the official Karen and Wendy zucchinis from our garden. And some store-bought blueberries, but there really is no such thing as zucchinis. Karen, remind me, it's zucchini. It's like deer. There are no deers. There are no zucchinis. So forgive me, because I dropped out of school early. And the shredder shreds these guys up, and in a matter of seconds, it's unbelievable. Okay, hit it, baby. Boy, that doesn't take long to shred that. Wow. Just hold it down. Let it shred the whole thing. Hey, oh, how cool is that? <laughs> Holy mackerel, did that go fast? We got to get nine eggs into this recipe. Did oh you guys have tripled the recipe? We got most of the ingredients prepped up here for the big mix. This is more fun than doing an oil change on an MT-09. <laughs> you just can't imagine how much fun this is. It is definitely going to be tasty. And now you have to oil the eggs. You have to oil <laughs> I'm doing oil change. Are you sure that's Yamalube? Yamalube, right, exactly. What is that, vanilla? Vanilla. Vanilla. And one of the secrets to good zucchini bread is to mix the concoction of eggs and ingredients totally homogenized. Then let the engine run for 15 minutes and change the oil filter. That's the secret, the secret to good zucchini bread. Shared here on Windy Videos. Okay, what else goes in here? This is cinnamon. Cinnamon. Ooh, I love cinnamon. Pretty involved amount of ingredients go in here. I know what it tastes like. It's great when it's done though. Now here's the real trick. You gotta spray the loaf pans. And if you forget that, it's very disappointing. Lucky Karen has this real handsome, strong guy that's good at stirring. He looks a lot like me. He's my evil twin. And boy, once this is all combined into one big mixture, I don't know how many loaves we're going to get, but we're going to have a lot of zucchini bread. And part of my cooking training that I've been going through, my, my son-in-law Rob is teaching me how to grill, my wife's teaching me how to cook. And now if I only could learn how to ride motorcycles competitively, that would be so nice. And learn how to paint, that would be a free bonus. Next step is to pour that into that and stir away Mr. Evil Twin. And boy, if there ever was a job, you want big biceps, you stir the zucchini bread. That's, even Arnold Schwarzenegger approves of that. Build those biceps up so you can wear cut-off shorts. Oh my God, look at this, this looks great. It smells real nice too. It ha actually, it has a nice smell. Now, anybody that's ever mixed concrete, this is exactly like mixing concrete. Oh my God, if George Venturini were alive, now he'd say, ah, ah you got too much sand in the concrete. Ah! Oh, that is, that is really thick now. This, after this step, we're ready to put a rest in. After this step, we're ready to put it in the pans? Nope. No? Holy mackerel. And we have blueberries. Oh, we got blueberries, too. Oh, zucchini, look at this. Zucchini blueberries. Zucchini blueberries. This is, oh man, I'm mixing a bag of concrete here. Now, Karen had a good trick from our late friend, Dottie Cook, who... She, what it, she was a good baker, and she yeah. told me if I put blueberries in any kind of cake, Always put flour, mixed flour with the blueberries. And that's worth the price Other, of watching this video. Well, otherwise, the blueberries stick to the bottom of the pan. Oh, okay. And one of the final steps, dumping in the blueberries that are coated with flour. And then we mix another batch of concrete. Oh, well, I'm telling you, this is a lot of work. This is really work. I didn't realize it was going to be this much work. Everything I cook is a lot of work. <laughs> Everything I do to restore motorcycles turns out being 10 times the amount of work I thought it would be. Try painting a set of wheels gold and you'll see. So we actually made seven individual breads. There's seven all together, I think. She's preheating the oven. We're going to do them in two batches. And they sit in the oven for 50 minutes. So we got two hours of work ahead of us. Now, you know, you could just go to the store and buy, buy the zucchini bread. But, you know, in our case, it's the passion we have for cooking. 
and a glutton for punishment at the same time. This is really going to be good. Two hours from now, we'll be back to the video. All right, see you in 50 minutes. And of course, luckily, we have a guy that does all the dishes, and he looks a lot like me. He's my triplet, my evil triplet. Now it's hard to believe only a few days ago, these zucchini were part of the zucchini plant here. This is the, the zucchini zilla, we call it. Giant zucchinis. All part of Karen's beautiful garden that we just have enjoyed this summer. This has been a banner year for our garden. Now, if you could only imagine, we got one more minute to go on a timer. If you could only imagine, and then we're going to do the second batch. The smell in the house. They always say if you want to sell a house, you bake bread. I think you should bake zucchini. Zucchini bread even. Wow. Well, are you happy, my bride? I'm happy. That's got to cool off, and I'll be, I'll be taking a free sample. That really was a good project. It smells incredible, doesn't it? Oh, my God. It makes you hungry just smelling it. That's unbelievable. Karen, I'm impressed. We wound up getting seven loaves out of that mix. <laughs> and if you could only smell the house, how good. It smells like a bakery in here. So, of course, we do hope you enjoyed joining us on this ride. That Lake Denmark Road is worth a little ride up there if you're in the area. Again, look on the map. It's right off Green Pond Road. I'm not sure what town that is. I'm not sure where the towns break. And, and number two tip, or just avoid Snake Hill Road altogether. It looks on a map like it would be a good shortcut. It isn't. Anyway, I really appreciate that Karen does a lot of this home cooking. Actually, she's got me involved in it now, too. That I enjoy seeing these things come to fruition. But number two, we have grown all these vegetables. And we're getting probably five to seven pounds of vegetables out of that garden every day. And, but that's the easy part. The hard part is we're making things with them and eating them and giving them to our neighbors and friends. So it's been a win-win-win. It's been a nice mitzvah. It's been fun. And eating vegetables is the way to extend your lifespan, that's for sure. And if you're still doing track days, it'll add two-tenths to every lap. <laughs> Especially if you eat those big zucchinis. And that zucchini bread was unbelievably good. Unbelievably better than the stuff we've had from the store. Not even close. Not even. So anyway, I really just wanted to thank everybody for watching the video. This this video is a little different than what we normally do, but I do, do enjoy editing them. I do enjoy going on the rides, and I do enjoy eating the zucchini bread. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.